<laughs> What's up, gamers? It's your boy, Launchpad1412. Excited to be back with some more NBA 2K23 gameplay. Almost at 13. We got an online <laughs> ring match versus a random opponent. My opponent has the 76ers, a team that has kind of been the bane of my existence on this game. For some reason, they are the toughest team for me to beat, and a lot of people are picking the Sixers. <laughs> <They're> just, <laughs> they are a, a serious problem for me for some reason right now. We have the LA Lakers. Lakers, Lakers, Lakers. First time playing with the Lakers. On this game, on a video game, NBA 2K23, they're a pretty good team. I think their main problem is they don't have shooters, really, uh, with the exception of um, Pat Bev, and I, I think the boy um, off the bench. I, Le LeBron can hit a three here and there, but you know they don't, they don't really have you know really shooters. That's the only problem, but they do have something that is is extremely grand in this game because um, not a lot of people can shoot in this game. So <laughs> a lot of people, not a lot of people know how, and what they have is good rebounding. If you have a team, Milwaukee Sixers, Lakers, and they have good rebounding in this game. Um, it kind of puts you a step ahead. It puts you like two notches ahead. I would even say two notches ahead because now, unlike previous years, you can get your own offensive rebound. Like you really, really can. And it's not that difficult. It's it's more feasible. I, I like it though, because it, it, here's, here's what I, I didn't like in previous games. It wasn't like a huge knock, but it was a little annoying. Like in previous um, years, NBA 2K, you would shoot a shot and it would, it just seemed like it was impossible for you to attempt, not necessarily get the rebound, but attempt to get the rebound. It seemed impossible. But this year, you know, you can, uh, <laughs> you can try to get the rebound if you miss a shot and it's, it's feasible. You're not going to get it all the time, but it is, um, pretty feasible. I do think it can get a little ridiculous at times. I remember particularly in my team, I was playing a, um, uh, it, it was a draft game, you know, uh, the draft mode, and the guy had 85 overall Shaq, and he he almost got like he got like four offensive rebounds, and it was just like, come on, man, I know I know Sha Shaq would, <laughs> I get, I'm sorry, <laughs> I, I get why 85 overall Shaq would out rebound a uh, Dino Raja, but I, I think at some point a, a 88 overall Dino Dino Raja can get at least one rebound out of four. My goodness, <laughs> every once in a while you will get that situation, but. But yeah, as you can see, you know, Philly is up 16. Now, real life Lakers. Right, what are the real life Lakers gonna do? I I don't know about them in real life. A big key to them is they gotta get Anthony Davis healthy and they gotta get him mentally, you know, right to want to play. That's huge. Cause if he's healthy and you know he's in like winning mode, that gives them three times the chance of making the playoffs and having a chance of winning a chip. Now they got some pieces. Um I love Westbrook, one of my favorite players of all time. I I I wish his decision making was better. I don't necessarily care about him being aggressive. He can, if he can he can be aggressive at times. And, you know, matter of fact, I think it's beneficial that he's aggressive at times. You know, so if he got a mismatch or something like that, that's one thing. But I, I just I've always had um, a, a problem with his decision making, even when he was in OKC. And here's, here's the main reason why. Because I know Russ is capable of being a sound decision maker. I've seen it. <laughs> I remember when we played the Grizzlies in Game 7 in the semifinals. I, I remember, and he had a triple-double, and he was making really good decisions. It wasn't like, you know, a triple-double where... It's not even about the triple-double. It was the decisions that he was making. So, like, I know it's in him. If I, if I would have never seen it, I, I probably wouldn't be... It probably wouldn't be as frustrating for me, but I have seen it, and this is tough, man, because I love Russ, man, and he's a, you know he's a guy I don't want to talk bad about at all, but he just got to work on the decision making, you know, work on the shooting too, but you know, work on that jumper, work on the decision making. I I think he'll be fine if he can do that, and he can get a healthy AD. You got Pat Bev on the wing, you got LeBron, one of the greatest players of all time, who was still pretty good even at 39 years old, or 38, one of the two. I get my only two points with Russell right there. <laughs> I think the Lakers will be okay. I, I don't see a championship in their future. <laughs> but I do see, you know, a story where they're okay. You know, it's just, it, to me, it's really all about AD more than Russ. 
If they can get, you know, AD, right, they should be fine. I, I like Darvin Ham as a coach, uh, so I, I, I wish him luck. Um, but, whew, he's got a tall tree to climb. Um, but I think he can climb it, you know, you know, and, and be okay. You know, I don't know if he can get them to, to the playoffs, you know, without AD, without a healthy AD. But with a healthy AD, this is a playoff team. Like, don't get that part twisted at all. Healthy AD, a playoff team without, without a shadow of a doubt, in my opinion. This is your boy, Launchpad1412. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'm out.